all the time. And, we're, and I think we're living in a golden age of documentaries. I agree. Mor Morgan has been one of the pioneers of the, this recent, uh, you know, it's incredible. And I think the internet and the ability to watch documentaries now that would normally not have any distribution or touch points for the audience is more and more prevalent. And I think you're seeing more and more people discover documentaries and find stories yeah. that deserve to be through, told. Through places, through places like Netflix, through places like Hulu, like you, you really have a real opportunity now to reach audiences, even more audiences than you ever did as a filmmaker. And I think that there is a tremendous amount of opportunity now for doc storytellers, and I think that's great. And also, like Morgan did, you know, the ability to then go into what's dominating cable television now, these kind of docu-series storytelling, and take the work that you're doing in uh, documentary filmmaking and applying it to television as well is a really amazing moment going on too. But you're doing, you're doing one with the Hulu now, right? We're doing a series of Hulu called A Day in the Life, which uh, the second season is airing right now, where we you know, follow somebody from the minute they wake up to the minute they go to bed, showing down 24 hours in their life. And we're doing a series for Yahoo called Failure Club, where we follow seven New Yorkers over the course of the years. They kind of chase these dreams they've always wanted to kind of achieve, but have been too afraid to try. And what this little group does, it gives them kind of just the courage to, to do it. It's like a little you know, dream support group. It's great. Great, great. great name for that dream support group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's failure. You gotta embrace failure. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was telling her. You gotta embrace failure. Don't, don't, this give, is away the this is don't give away the ending. Don't give away the ending. You can do it, title. club. <laughs> yeah. You're the best, club. <laughs> yeah. No one's ever gonna tell you that. No one ever tells you the best, except your mom. Learn that now. <laughs> Next question. Hey, Morgan. How you doing? How are you? Um, yeah, actually, I came from DC just to meet you. Um, anyway, when do um, the, the story really hit you? When do you know it's the right time, and when do you know this is the one you want to do? Uh, I mean, for me, it's like, a, it's a question like, when do we know it's the right time, and you know, this is the only one to do. For me, it's the, the minute we hear an idea that we really like and respond to it, then we're like, that's, we should definitely tell that story. And when uh, you know, when Ben called me and said he's working with Will and Jason, he's would you like to meet with them and talk to them about doing a film that looks like kind of, you know, manscaping and male grooming, I like literally burst out laughing. I was like, this this is great. I was like, yes, we have to, we have to meet with these guys. And once I sat down with Will and Jason, and it was Will and Jason, myself and Jeremy, and uh, we got to talk about what would this movie be, what would we show, who would we follow, what kind of characters would we look at. I was like, we have to make this movie. Another question? Uh, hi, yes, uh, my name is Mike. Uh, my question is, uh, do you have any particular preference of a particular brand when it comes to when you grow me? <laughs> 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 